In case you don't know me, that's how I start every presentation. It got your attention. My name is Drew. I apologize. Uh, my, my voice is a little hoarse, not a little duck. Um, but either way, what I wanted to brief y'all with real quick is we have set up a really fun network here. And the network is the demo, and the demo is the network, and you all are all, you all, are all participating, hopefully, in what we're doing. Because you didn't come to WLPC to learn about what you already know, am I right? Like, a lot of this stuff is really fascinating and fun, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about something that you may not know. Has anyone heard of the Telecom Infra Project? Keith doesn't count, okay. Three people, yes, all right. What we have, the Telecom Infra Project is a group of people that's basically trying to disrupt all of telecommunications globally. We're trying to figure out better, faster, cheaper ways to provide connectivity to everybody on every corner of the earth. And I'm here as a partner, my company, uh, company I work for partners with Telecom Infra Project, and I'm on a team specifically called Open Wi-Fi. Has anyone heard of Open Wi-Fi? Okay, seven people, very good. <laughs> Not bad, about 20 people, that's pretty good. So what you all are participating in right now is one of the first open Wi-Fi networks deployed for public consumption at a conference full of people that are absolutely critical about Wi-Fi networks. Because open Wi-Fi is a community developed disaggregated system, you all are the community. That's what I'm doing here. I'm here to get your feedback. It's a little bit uh, uh, adventurous, a little bit courageous. We've had a heck of a week so far trying to set this up, getting a lot of things working. But the access points that you see uh, here on these Wi-Fi stands, there's one behind here. We've got five APs in this corridor. If you're connected to the open Wi-Fi SSID, you are connected to it. Um, you've mentioned six gigahertz. We will have six gig radios turned on here on Friday. If you want to play with those, we're still figuring out which uh, frequency to go on so that we don't mess it up. But basically, open Wi-Fi is a community system where it's all open source. You can contribute to the community. The whole concept and the whole idea is that you shouldn't be locked into a vendor, a specific vendor, when you want to purchase wireless access components. The same way that you used to think about stereos, you buy a stereo from any different vendor, and you buy speakers from any different vendor. That's the way Wi-Fi should be in my opinion. What you should be able to do is choose your controller and choose your access points. Doesn't matter who the vendor of the access points are, they should all work together. We've got a lot of partners that are using this globally. You'll see some names you may be familiar with up on the screen. These are some of the partners. Everything's available at telecominfraproject.com. At this specific venue uh, for the week, Net Experience is our partner running the controller component of it. You'll see it on the screens outside. Edgecore Networks is supplying these APs. Action Tech has the WF196s. They just arrived this morning. They're all Wi-Fi 6. They'll be set up uh, for the breakout sessions. And in here, or I'm sorry, they're, they're 6E. These are all Wi-Fi 6. We're, uh, we've got the 6E out. This, the Wi-Fi 7 AP is not here, but in Madrid next week, we'll have it at Fuse. So we're moving very rapidly because we're a community developed, community oriented group. We plan this whole network using Hamina, who's also a partner, <laughs> who's also a partner of Open Wi-Fi. All of the Open Wi-Fi access points are already in the tool. You can use the tool. You can talk about that later. We're using WaveSpot for footfall analytics and traffic. You know who's going where and so on and so forth. Um, on this network. It took a little bit of time to put this network together. Uh, we, uh, we sat in the back room, we got here last Tuesday, and we started to work on it. We did some really neat stuff. We, uh, we found some really interesting issues that I will be happy to talk about y'all with. We have this really interesting problem that no one here has seen before, and no one here knows how to answer as of right now. It's really, really cool, and we'll talk about it. But Needless to say, we had some problems, but now today we're ready. Our APs are up. We're broadcasting. If you've jumped online, it's, uh, it's working fairly well. The challenges that we've met on this network, number one, we're limited to 100 megabit per second, which has already caused a couple issues this morning. The first day we got here, we realized that the hotel had completely run its DHCP scope uh, clean. And so then they gave us a subnet, and that one was completely, or completely full as well. Then we found out that our DHCP lease times were set to 10 minutes, which Apple really, really doesn't like. And so we started freaking out. Then we looked at the Wi-Fi that's existing on these Aruba APs. Everything's 80 megahertz channels. Awesome. So we had all these things happening at the same time, and then our equipment didn't even show up. So we found some really cool local computer stores. If you need an outlet in Prague, Fernay and I have made a couple of trips back and forth to buy everything from cable to switches to, to you know, in connectors. But once we got all up and running, uh, it seems to be working pretty well. We've had the crazy latency thing we can't figure out. Our cable problems, obviously we always have cable problems. 
We pushed, we came in here very adventurous with the latest code. It was two days old when we deployed it on these APs. That did not go well. How many of y'all were in the boot camps the first day? It was not fun. <laughs> But that's what we're here for. I'm, I, I hope it works. Like, don't get me wrong. I really hope that this continues to work as well as it's working right now. But if it breaks, that's okay too. We came here because we wanted it. I don't want to say we wanted it to break, but we want your feedback. We want you to be a part of this. It is a complete open source project. So all of your feedback makes a difference. So if it breaks, that's good. Let's fix it. Let's figure out what it is. But I need your help doing it. The group in this room is the people that can literally change the Wi-Fi industry. And that can only change if you put your ideas into it. So we stepped back. We got stable code. And here we go. This was... Uh, I guess a couple minutes ago, 1056 is when this was up. We've already broken 100 clients, which is fantastic. Uh, we're very excited about that across these APs. Again, live dashboards are sitting out front. We're processing a whole bunch of data. Please, please, please use the open Wi-Fi SSID. This community, <clears throat> one of the things I love the most about it is how much you all can get behind a product. Up on the top left-hand side, where's Rob? Where's Boardman? He's not even in here, and I gave him a shout out. <clears throat> Boardman came up with this little gadget that you could 3D print to hold a USB uh, adapter so you could stick all your Wi-Fi dongles in there. Everybody bought one, right? Uh, Adrian, how many of you have ever used Wi-Fi Explorer? We all got behind him on that. What an incredible tool, right? The WLAN Pi, what a project. And again, inceptualized and conceptualized and built, all supported by you all. The Wi-Fi stand, y'all might know a little bit about that product, hopefully you do. Again, supported by the community. Anytime this community decides to take something on, you all can change it. You all can make a huge impact with it. All, instead of giving out APs, I'm not gonna give out APs, but I will give out our source code. Our source code is all available on GitHub. You can go download it today. You can set up your own SDK. You can set up your own controller. You can buy a Linksys access point or an Edge Core or an Action Tech or HFCL, or you can buy any of these main vendors. You can purchase their access points, flash the code, and get up and running. What's great about the vendors that we deal with is they're the same people that make all the hardware boards for a lot of the people that you're already familiar with. We can talk about that later. It's the beauty of going direct to the ODM. So when you work with those groups, you get the equipment for a lot less expensive and you can do whatever you want with it. You download the source code, make your changes. If you look very closely, you can see that a lot of these were updated an hour ago, two hours ago, 20 hours ago. We have nightly builds that go through this. So you can download that source code. And don't forget, most importantly, tomorrow night, open Wi-Fi means open bar. So, <laughs> so tomorrow night, we've got a party for you to come and enjoy. But again, you didn't come to WLPC to learn about what you already know. This is your chance to change the industry. And it's as easy as associating to these access points, making sure that it works for you. Have a great time. Enjoy the Wi-Fi. If it breaks, that's awesome. Me, Wayne, Howard, Marcel. You're going to hear from Marcel later. Please let us know. We'll be happy to try and fix it. That's my time. Thank you.